folks, it is finally here. The 5G Gateway by T-Mobile, giving you home internet, Wi-Fi. Right now, they're giving you unlimited data, as much as you want, using their 5G network. Folks, and let me tell you, I decided to get this after my AT&T bill went up. Yes, folks, I had the 300 megabytes fiber optics from AT&T, and they were charging me only $45, including the equipment. And after a year, I went up to 65, and then I said, hey, I have T-Mobile. And I did a speed test at my home and I'm getting a very high speeds, faster than my 300 megs with AT&T. So I said, why not try this gateway device, which is faster potentially and cheaper than $65. Right now it's $50 after auto pay. Timo was really pushing hard for this. Uh, the device is free and the equipment and activation fee is free as well at the moment at the filming of this video. So yeah, let's check it out. So here we have the device, the 5G gateway. Pretty compact in size, not too big, honestly has beautiful two ethernet ports in the back so you could connect another router to give this a stronger signal within the home that you are using it in. You have a USB-C plug right here. You have a power plug as well. And that little tray you see right here is the SIM card tray. You could take out a SIM card and put a new one in there. That's gonna give you that strong 5G service. Alrighty, in the front, you have a little, for best results, place near a window. Um, sticker, then you have notifications that you get in this device. Sometimes you can see your text messages, sometimes you can see the 5G status and how much coverage you have um, in the location that you are setting this up in. It's very easy to plug in. All you have to do is plug in the power um, at any place that has a power plug. And yeah, you just activate the 5G home internet app and you are able to set up the device. So when you get the box, here are the first things that you'll see. So when you're opening up the device and you open up the box, you open it up, boom, you get a lovely 5G gateway quick start guide. And let me tell you folks, it's not even that big. It's literally position it near a window, connect it to a power plug, download the app, and you're all set. Literally, it takes you apparently five to 10 minutes to set this up, um, which is very cool. It's not like the other companies where you have to literally put in an entire box and then like connect it to a modem and then it takes like people that know how what they're doing how to connect it and all that yeah at t fiber i love it it's fast it's quick it's reliable but man all right so once you plug it in you're greeted with a lovely t-mobile logo we take the sticker off and boom all we did was plug it in with that usb spot right over here usb c spot pretty easy to connect literally connected it to my power plug so it greets you with a t-mobile logo it's powering up so let's see what happens here once it's powered up, it tells you to download the T-Mobile Internet mobile app, which you could download on the Google Play Store and or App Store. And it tells you your service too. Spectacular 5G coming in in mind. So you go to your App Store or Google Play Store and you type in T-Mobile Home Internet and you should be able to find the app pretty quickly and pretty easily. You click get and then you install it. Once you've downloaded the app, you open it up. It's gonna ask you to use your T-Mobile internet network. Click okay. Then you click set up device. And then you have the LTE or 5G gateway. You pick the 5G gateway if that's the device you're using. Enable the location settings. It'll start checking for your location. And with that, it'll start picking the best spot within the home and the closest area to the uh, highest signal tower. So it tells you to plug it in scan the QR code in the back of the device, which I am going to show you here. You capture it with your same camera. You click OK to scan the QR code. <laughs> it could take a little while to take a picture of it. And then, yeah, once you've connected the gateway, wait at least two minutes for your gateway to completely start up so that it gives you the best connection. I've already waited the two minutes, so I'm gonna skip that real quick. And then it'll tell you on the little screen if it's doing a software update. And then it tells you the name of the Wi-Fi network. You're supposed to click join. So we click join. The gateway connection begins. And now it's connecting your Wi-Fi on your device. And boom, here you have it. The name of the Wi-Fi network. That's where you're gonna put your own password. And I just did that. And the administrator password, meaning the person that's in control of the app and the device. And I just did that and voila, we are successfully connected. And once you're inside the app, you have many different features within the app, the devices that you have connected, um, the Wi-Fi name, the frequency bands, depending on how many devices you're gonna be connected, 
we have also to see your bill, to change your password, and more. Now, what happens when this baddie is set up? Well, it tells you devices connected. And right now we have one, which is my iPhone. You have the connection status, how strong your connection is. Remember, placing this close to a window or at a different spot in your location can improve that signal strength. And then you have messages. You can click view messages. It's great that you joined T-Mobile, right? So you can check your text messages. Amazing, right? That you get to this device because this device is linked with a phone number. Right? And then I could also keep going and delete the message. Bye, bye, bye. Right? Super easy. And then we swipe to the right. Language setting. If I prefer English, I could keep it at English or I could even change it to a different language, which I want to keep it at English. And there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. It literally took me about five minutes. Um, and now I have Wi-Fi. Let's see how fast this baddie runs. So as you guys saw in the picture before, I had my AT&T fiber modem running. And this speed test is showing you the 300 megabytes um, AT&T fiber running. And I got upload speeds of 375 megabytes and download speeds of, sorry, upload speeds of 371 and downloads of 375. So not bad for $65. And the T-Mobile 5G gateway is next. Um, as you can see, this is giving me double the speeds. Um, and more in the upper 700s, now over the 800 megabyte um, level, so nearly 800. My upload speed, really, really okay, actually, over 100 megs, over 110 megs. Um, so I'm getting much faster download speeds. And just to compare here, this would be a speed test running with the 5G ultra capacity service that I'm getting on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. But um, yeah, I'm getting pretty similar speeds. So. So there you have it, folks. T-Mobile 5G Gateway is a very fast access point for internet. Now, mind you, I was just using one device there. This supposedly takes up to 25 devices. Um, and honestly, I'm testing it out uh, for these 15 days. I will probably come out with a review later on on my experience. Um, but this is an area that has very good 5G um, ultra capacity coverage. And honestly, I'd rather be paying $50 for speeds well over 500 megs, 600, and according to our speed test, nearly 800 megs. Um, versus $65 for 300 megs and probably $75 for 500 megs of AT&T. So I'm getting better speeds and really good coverage right here with this. So good, good job T-Mobile, especially where there is good service. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share, and let me know, have you guys tried the T-Mobile internet service at your place? How's it working? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much and have a great and wonderful day.